Come on. Right, I'm off. See you tonight. Well, where are you going? School. Today? Katie, there's only days till our wedding. The village hall's half ready. We need you then. Andy, I'm going to be a farmer's wife. I mean, you want to give up everything else in my life, doesn't yeah, it? I wouldn't ask you to. I, I know. I mean, you have to work twice as hard without me, won't you? I'm not going to be there either. Where were you going? Well, there's something I need to sort out. Right, well, I'll see you there after school, shall I? Yeah. Don't come to say her. You got a phone number? I just wanted to see how you was doing. I'm doing great. You coping all right? Best place to ever live this. It's a wide drive all the way down here anyway. Never bothered before. Well, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Hurry up then. I'm messing the pool table. It wasn't an easy choice to make, you know, sending you away. Glad you did. Got loads of mates here. But me and Katie, we're just starting out. Getting married, making a go of the farm. We've got our work cut out as it is. Well, forget about it. Do you still think of me as your big brother? I don't know. Well, we're family now. Nothing can change that. And one day, maybe when we're back on our feet, then, you know, we can all be together. I won't hold my breath. We were talking about you the other night. We'd like to be at the wedding. We don't think it'd feel right without you. Kay said that. Yeah. Look, whatever happened, he's forgotten about. So will you come? There'll be a party in that at the village hall. I don't know. We've got a lot going on here, really. Right. I'm going to play pool. we mates. What do you think about it? And if you change your mind... See ya. Daz. Take care. Nearly there. Jack, can I ask you something? Yeah? It's Andy and Katie's wedding, and Robert's the best man. So how come it's you and me doing all the work? Oh, well, Katie's at school. I don't know where Andy is, and I told Robert not to bother, because all he does is sit around getting in the way. Oh, so we're on our own, then. For now. Shame to waste the opportunity. No room to move in the pub. Never get any peace at your place. What have you got in mind? Come behind the stage with me, and if you play your cards right, I might show you. Hello? Anybody here? Is there anybody in there? Only me. What on earth have you got all them for? Fulfilling my promise to make this room look half decent for the wedding of the year. There's more in the car, Diane, if you won't mind. More? Yes. This lot nearly lifted me off my feet as I brought them in. I'm such a petite little thing. You shouldn't have any problems. Right. Where are we going to tie them all? makes Blackpool look like the height of cultural sophistication. Can't you say something? Say what, though? Well, I, I don't know. They'd look better outside or something. Go on. Must have cost you a small fortune. Totally free. A supplier owed me a favour. Oh, that was lucky. You know, when me and Vic got married in Romford Town Hall all them years ago, we had it looking just like this. Did you? Let's just hope they like it. Like well, they're about to find out. Oh, my God. Well, I'm stunned. Viv. Andy, there is no need to say thank you. This is a wedding present to show there's no hard feelings over you wearing me underwear. Enjoy. Thanks. Right, then. I've got a business to run, so I'll love you and leave you. Bye. Dad, why didn't you stop her? Andy, if you'd been here helping this morning, you could have stopped it yourself. Where were you, anyway? I went to see Daz. Well, how did you get on? Well, I asked him if he wanted to come to the do, but he didn't sound all that bothered. I don't think you are that pleased to see me, to be honest. Well, you'll have enough to think about on the day, anyway. All I'm thinking about now is I'm going to explain this lot to Katie. Yeah, well, come on. Let's lock up and we'll show her the damage later. It's getting so she doesn't even... There's a nice surprise and a present from Viv. Go on, then. Oh, Andy the Beautiful, thank you. Thanks, Jack. Hang on. What is it? Ah, 
Viv never was a girl guide, was she? Oh, Jack, they're horrible. That's what we're going to do then. Well, uh, better go and get the shotgun and blow the roof off. <laughs> <laughs> oh.